Alright, I'm gonna show y'all 11 block fruit tips that pros use. These gonna be tips like how to level up fast, how to get mastery while you AFK, and how to guarantee yourself fruits from events. So we just gonna start off with the leveling up one. The fastest way to level up is the Buddha fruit because you can literally hit NPCs when they're not even close to you and they can't hit you back. Like you can't tell me that's not a W. And I wanna talk about Logia fruits because even if you're the same level as the NPC, you still gotta level up even more for the Logia fruit to even work against the NPC. And some NPCs are straight up immune to Logia fruit so that's just not it. Buddha's just the better fruit. Now the second tip is getting mastery while AFK. This one's kinda simple, you just need a Logia fruit. And after that, just go to the highest level NPC that you know that your Logia fruit works on. Now if you've got an auto clicker, just use that so while your avatar punches the NPC, you can go do something else. The third tip is the quickest way to beat ship raids. And the quickest way will beat the magma fruit because out of all the blocks fruits, the magma fruit does the most damage. I mean look at how much damage I'm doing to this NPC with one magma attack. Alright, now the fourth tip is the best way to do sea beast raids. And that will be with the shark race because with that race you can be in the sea without taking any damage from the water. And if you don't have the shark race, you're gonna be more focused on not touching the water than fighting the actual sea beast. Alright, now we're halfway through starting with the fifth tip that's gonna be server hopping for bosses. So basically instead of waiting for a boss to spawn after you kill it, you can just join a different server where the boss is probably already spawned. It's way more useful and it helps you level up faster. The sixth tip's gonna be the best way to solo raids, which will be with the Buddha fruit because like I said with the leveling up tip, when you have the Buddha fruit you can hit NPCs without even being close to them, which will be useful for raids considering the fact that you're being non-stop attacked by NPCs. The seventh tip is gonna be the Buddha glitch, and for the glitch to work you're gonna have to make yourself big with the Buddha fruit. And then you're gonna activate the shrink button, and right after that, I'm talking shorter than half a second, you're gonna equip a different item. You know the glitch worked if the item you're holding is super huge while you're still small. This works with fighting styles too. This is really useful because you're not a big easy target for the NPCs to hit anymore, and you can still hit them without being close to them. So with tip number 8, it's gonna be bringing NPCs together. So basically, instead of running around killing each NPC one by one while doing the quest, you can just hit them all once and make them follow you. That way you can bring them at the same spot and kill them at the same time in just a few hits. And with this strategy, you complete quests faster, which helps you level up faster, you know what I mean? Alright, we're on the last three now, so let's continue with the ninth tip that's gonna be getting money while AFK. This is pretty much the same thing as the AFK mastery method, just go up to the highest level NPC that you know your Logia fruit works on, and use an auto clicker to attack the NPC while you go do something else. And every time you kill an NPC, you get money, therefore, you're getting money while AFK. Now we're on the 10th tip, which is gonna be the fastest way to level up observation dodges. So with observation, when you dodge, you can level it up, and when you level it up, you can get more dodges. But when you run out of dodges, you've gotta wait a while to be able to dodge again. So instead of waiting for the dodges to come back, you can just rejoin the game so they're already gonna be back, and then you can dodge again. And you can just keep rejoining the game and using your dodges, which is the fastest way to level up your observation dodges. Alright, now we're on the 11th and final tip, which is how to guarantee yourself a fruit from a pirate raid. So everybody knows to get a fruit from the pirate raid, you have to be the last one to hit the tanky NPC. So how this works is when the raid starts, you're gonna let everybody kill the NPCs while you wait for the tanky NPC to spawn. And when he spawns, you're gonna let everybody attack him until he starts getting low. And when he's low, you're just gonna start going crazy on him because everybody's been attacking him the whole time, so their attacks are gonna be reloading and stuff, but you still got all your attacks because you haven't been attacking yet. And that way, you have a really high chance of getting the last hit on the NPC and getting your fruit. Me and my friends do this and it works almost all the time. Alright, and that's the 11 blocks fruit tips that pros use. You're welcome.